Hello guys, thanks for joining me today in a new video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from the ones I usually do. And I am going to do my first sketchbook tour video. And um, I don't work in sketchbooks a lot, so that's why it's taken me so long to finish one. I think I started this one um, about one and a half years ago. So yeah, I finally finished it. Although I don't uh, fill up every page, I like to, uh, to have one clear page in between my drawings. But I did finish it and I'd love to show you what I drew. Although you may have seen a lot of these drawings already in my um, recent videos. All right, let's start. So we are starting off with a quick water drop study. Um, I did this with black colored pencil, graphite and white colored pencil and some gel pen. And then we have a, an elephant study also with the same materials. I really like the combination of graphite and white colored pencil and black colored pencil and gel pen because it's so easy to create something good on toned paper with those materials. So next up we have an, a horse study. Um, I did a lot of horse studies in the sketchbook. I've always loved to draw horses. So you are going to see a lot of horses. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Next up, we have the feather I drew for a YouTube video. Um, I will link all the drawings I did for videos below in the description so you can look them up. And I really enjoyed working on this. I used my Polychromos colored pencils. And here we have a little Simba drawing I did for Christmas last year. And I also made a video of that which is here on my YouTube channel too. Next up we have a tiger study. Um, I also did this one with the black and white color pencil and a white gel pen. I really like the effect uh, that gives. So yeah, tiger study. And next up we have little panda with the same materials again. And I used this, this uh, drawing for my profile pictures on social media for a very long time. Um, maybe you know it. And recently I got bored of it so I changed it up. But I've used this one as my profile picture for a very long time. And here we have some eye studies. I really like to draw human eyes now and then. Um, I really like the anatomy and all the shadows and little highlights. So I really like to draw human eyes. I did three different ones and it was a really nice study. Next up we have a very bad horse sketch. <laughs> well it's, it's not that bad but it's pretty lame and undetailed. And here we have another horse study of a horse called Batman. Next up there is Pikachu. Um, I drew this Pikachu drawing for my 50k followers milestone on Instagram last year. So that was really fun. I did this with my polychromos and it was actually one of my first colored pencil drawings. And next up we have an unfinished spirit drawing. Um, I really failed at this one. I don't like it. So I just quit halfway and moved on to another drawing. I didn't like it at all. And here we have a little kitty study. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it is so cute. I used um, a picture from an Instagram account. I'm not sure what it was called anymore. Maybe you know it. 
If you know the name of the Instagram account, account let me know in the comments. And here we have an Arabian horse study. And this was also one of my first experiences with colored pencil. So yeah, I just, I still needed to figure out how it works. And I think the drawing looks nice. So I think I succeeded. <laughs> and here we have my very, very first um, colored pencil drawing. It is an orca. I don't do marine life a lot. I should do that more often because I really enjoy it. And um, yeah, it was my first colored pencil drawing. And it was also one of my first drawings in this sketchbook. But when I start my, my sketchbook, um, when I open a new one, I just like to pick a page somewhere in the middle and then start there <laughs> instead of starting at the first page. Here we have another eye study. And another eye study of a cat eye, which I also did for a video. And that video also did very well, so I re I'm really happy with that. And for this one I used my Polychromos pencils again. Next up we have another Arabian horse, which I've never finished. Um, I don't know exactly why. But I think I just got bored of it. <laughs> I know, I don't know, I've never finished it. And another horse study of a beautiful horse named Q. And he is owned by Nalanta, which is a Liberty horse group um, from the Netherlands, which I've been following for such a long time. Next up is a bit of an of a conceptual drawing for a pastel drawing I plan to do in the future. Um, I really like this idea of the magical forest and the kind of Patronus deer in, in the forest. So I hope to do this drawing soon when I feel when I feel like I have the confidence to do so. Let me know if you would like to see a pastel drawing with this kind of theme. Next up we have another eye study, um, which I also did for a video recently. I will link that one below as well. And I really enjoyed working on this one. I used again my graphite, black colored pencil and white colored pencil and gel pens. Next up we have a an imaginary dolphin study. I don't think I used any photos for this one. And this is also an idea for an upcoming pastel drawing. On to the next horse study. I really like this one. Um, it's a shame that the body didn't fit entirely on the page, so I had to let to leave um, one leg out. But still, I really like this drawing. And now on to probably one of my favorites from this sketchbook. This is Maximus from the movie Tangled. I really enjoyed working on this drawing. It was really a challenge to get, you know, the 3D animated effect. But I think it worked, it worked out pretty well and it also made me a lot more confident when it comes to using colored pencils. And here we have another study um, of a black leopard. I think I did this one about one year ago. This one is pretty old, um, but I still like how it looks. I 
I especially really like the highlights on it. It gives it a bit, a bit of a magical effect. And here we have some pandas. And I made this one with only a black and white pen. And I don't really like how this one turned out. It still is cute and I had fun working on it, but I don't really like it. And here we have the next colored pencil feather I did, also for a video. And I did this one from my imagination, just as, um, just like the other one. And I really like doing imaginary drawings. So I also had a period in which I really was into hand lettering. I'm not really good at it. I should practice more often, but this is just a little scrap page with me doing hand lettering practice. <laughs> As you can see, my vocabulary is very large. <laughs> I basically only drew the word art and drawing and some random scribbles. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I should practice more often. And that basically sums it up. I really hope you liked this video. Definitely let me know below which of these drawings was your favorite. And yeah, I then want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love that. And yeah, then I want to wish you a very nice week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.